Welcome to Electron Line. To finish up the compound atlet machine, we have to do one more thing. We now have to solve for y double dot the acceleration for mass 2 and mass 3. In the previous video, we showed you how to calculate the x double dot, which is the acceleration for mass 1. To do that, what we need to do is we need to get rid of these components right here, which means we are going to multiply the top equation by the coefficient of the x double dot of the bottom equation. So we're going to multiply this by m3 minus m2 and we're going to multiply the bottom equation by the coefficient of x double dot from the top equation which is m1 plus m2 plus m3 and then that result we're going to subtract the bottom equation from the top equation and then solve for y double dot because that's how we eliminate these terms right here. On the top equation we get the following multiplying that times this we get m1 m3 plus m2 m3 plus m3 squared and then we get minus m1 m2 minus m2 squared and minus m2 m3 and the whole thing multiplied times x double dot then we get plus this times this that gives us m3 squared minus 2m2 m3 plus m2 squared multiply times y double dot equals and then multiply this times this we get m1 m3 minus m2 m3 minus m3 squared minus m1 m2 plus m2 squared and oh you know something I noticed these should be g's so m2 squared and then minus plus that would be plus m2 m3 times g I'm running out of room there but bear with me and we probably can simplify that a little bit already we have an m1 m2 let's see m2 m3 minus m2 m3 that cancels out we have an m13 and nothing else cancels out here does anything nope and does anything cancel out here let's see we have an m23 and a minus m23 yes that cancels out all right so it's a little simpler like that and now doing the second equation we end up with I'm multiplying this times this we have an m1 m3 m1 m3 we have a minus m1 m2 we have a plus m2 m3 we have a minus m2 squared we have a plus m3 squared and we have a minus m2 m3 and the whole thing multiplied times x double dot and let's see if we can simplify something right away we have an let's see here an m2 m3 and a minus m2 m3 that cancels out that's nice hopefully those are exactly the same because when we subtract this from that this cancels out this cancels out this cancels out yes they're exactly the same so when we subtract the second equation and the first equation these will drop out all right continuing we have to multiply this times this plus m2 m1 m2 put parentheses around it uh, plus m2 squared well, let's see here I'm multiplying this times this so m1 times m2 m1 times m3 uh, m2 plus m2 squared plus m2 m3 plus m2 m3 well let's see here that means we can put a 2 in front of here so plus 2 and, and then plus m3 squared I better do that because I'm running out of room here that would be y double dot I think I took way too much space here but that's okay and then we have equals now we have to multiply this times this so we have m1 m2 m1 m2 minus m1 m3 plus m2 squared minus m2 m3 and I'll continue over here plus 
M2, M3, and minus M3 squared times G. And right away I noticed that this cancels out with this. Put parentheses around it. And it looks like nothing else cancels. Does anything else cancel here? No, nope, we're good. Now we're ready to subtract the second equation from the first equation. And when we do that, we should get the following. So this minus this, we get zero. Now we have this minus this. So we have m3 squared minus m3 squared. That cancels out. We have m2 squared minus m2 squared. That cancels out. We have a minus 2m23. And we have a minus, because we're subtracting this, that doesn't cancel out. So here we have left the following. We have an m1, m2, plus m1, m3. And then it will be minus, minus, that would be minus 4 times m2, m3, multiplied times y double dot. Equals. Now we subtract this from that. So we have an m12 subtracted from that, that doesn't cancel out. A negative m13, that doesn't cancel out. We have an m2 squared minus m2 squared, that cancels out. We have a minus m3 squared and minus m3 squared, that cancels out. And so what we have left is the following. This minus a minus that, that gives us 2m1, m3. And then this minus that, that gives us minus 2 m1, m2, and the whole thing multiplied times g. Now there's only one step left to do, which is to fight this by the coefficient here to get y double dot. So y double dot, the acceleration relative to the y-coordinate system is equal to 2m, well we could write 2m1 times m3 minus m2 times g, I'll make that look like a g, divided by here we can factor out an m1, so we have an m1 times m2 plus m3, and then minus 4 times m2, m3. And that will be then the answer to y double dot, which means that is the acceleration for m2 and m3. Now, that's relative to the y coordinate, and that will then be the answer. Wow. That was a lot of algebra, but you can see if you stick with it and you follow the procedure one by one, you can actually calculate the acceleration with respect to the x-coordinate and the acceleration with respect to the y-coordinate separate by going to the algebraic effort, and that's how it's done.